What you are witnessing is the explosion of a lithium battery in a lead battery recycling facility. Fortunately, no one was hurt in these examples. However, this may not always be the case. Lithium batteries do not belong in the lead battery recycling stream. When lithium batteries are crushed during the lead battery recycling process, they can explode, potentially causing injury or even death. It can also damage equipment in the lead battery recycling facility, forcing the recycler to shut down until the damage is repaired. How do we sort and handle batteries safely? You serve as the industry's first line of defense against these dangerous explosions. Creating a lithium battery disposal plan is one of the best ways to safeguard lead battery recycling facility employees. This video will show you how to identify the differences between lithium and lead batteries, the resources needed to develop your lithium battery disposal plan, the consequences of including a lithium battery in a lead battery pallet. Batteries are returned to retailers across the country, and then they arrive at the sorting facility. By following the directions provided, you can help ensure the safety of all parties involved in the battery recycling process. The Battery Council International surveyed 123 battery sorters and handlers like you and found that 21% of the respondents did not provide or receive any battery sorting training for new employees. While the other 79% did provide training to new employees during orientation, 24% of those employees received no additional training after their initial onboarding session. And 15% of respondents said they did not inspect every battery received. 5% indicated they did not know the difference between a lead battery and a lithium battery. A stunning 19% or one in five people were not sure what to do with lithium batteries when received. Armed with a few identification tips, you can more easily separate lithium from lead batteries. One way you can generally tell the difference is the lighter weight of a lithium battery compared to a lead battery. Lithium batteries that resemble automotive lead batteries tend to weigh around 25 pounds, while automotive lead batteries weigh around 40 pounds. Another difference between the battery types are their labels. Look for the words Li-ION, lithium, or the Li symbol on a lithium battery. Lead batteries have the word lead or the symbol PB. Examine the labels carefully, as some may be damaged or torn off due to extended use of the battery. You may also notice that there can be different locations and styles of terminals on a lithium battery versus a lead battery. The most common terminals on a lead battery look like a cylindrical knob protruding from the top or a circular opening with a threaded inlet on the side of the battery. You will also notice that these lead battery terminals tend to be a dull gray color. If you come across a battery that has terminals that you are uncertain about, pull it out for further inspection. So now you've identified a lithium battery. How do you safely return it? Carefully remove the lithium or non-conforming battery from the lead battery pallet. Once the battery is isolated, securely tape all terminals to prevent potential fire or explosion. There are companies that will collect lithium and other non-conforming batteries, such as nickel cadmium and nickel metal hydride. You should follow their instructions on how to properly prepare lithium batteries for disposal. Battery Council International advises you to contact an authorized facility. For a list of contacts, visit batterycouncil.org slash lithium safety. These facilities may charge a fee for proper disposal of the batteries. This processing expense is nominal when compared to consequences for including a lithium battery on a lead battery pallet. There are steep fines for failing to comply with regulations. When you sign the bill of lading, you are certifying that your shipment of lead batteries meets all the requirements of the Department of Transportation, or DOT, and the Resource Conservation and Recovery Act, or RICRA. One key requirement is that lithium batteries may not be included in your lead battery shipment. Failure to comply with these regulations can result in fines for improper disposal of the lithium batteries and additional fines from government agencies such as the DOT and EPA. You also jeopardize the business relationship with the lead battery recycler. To secure the safety of their employees and prevent explosions, 
Lead battery recyclers may terminate business relationships with battery sorters and handlers who repeatedly include lithium batteries in lead battery pallets. Remember, you can help preserve the safety of all those involved in the lead battery recycling process by following these five steps while at work. Take time to inspect all your batteries. Remove the lithium batteries, set them aside, and contact the proper parties to safely dispose of them, as detailed in this video. For more information on proper handling and disposal of batteries, contact Battery Council International.